a gorgeous, statuesque redhead I had the pleasure of pursuing in several pictures. She's not only a fine actress who was nominated for an Oscar, she has a magnificent singing voice, which is not surprising considering where it originates. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the serenely stunning and radiant Rhonda Fleming right here. on our show. Tell me, is your dressing room okay? Excellent, Bob. No trouble parking? Not a bit. Why? Well, I just want to make your visit perfect, you know. Ah, uh, that's sweet of you, Bob. But you're making me feel like John Robinson on the first day of the Rams training camp. <laughs> well, maybe I am overdoing it, but can you blame me? Ronnie, you're still as charming and as beautiful as you were when we made the great lover together. <laughs> that's very sweet. You read that just right, Robert. You know, I did have a great time working on that picture with you. In fact, it was right after I'd, uh, I had finished a Connecticut Yankee with Bing Crosby. Yeah, and you came to me to try to salvage your career. <laughs> Not exactly, but, oh, Bing. He was so charming and worldly wise and sophisticated. He had me walking around in a daze. That wasn't charm. Whenever he worked with beautiful women, he always had Novocaine in his makeup. <laughs> now, Robert, there's no reason for bitterness. Believe me, as a lover, you were completely adequate. And the dolphins think they took a beating. Oh, I love it when you think your feelings have been hurt. The little boy in you comes out. Oh, well, don't just stand there. Help me bring him back. I'll never find another one that cute. But tell me, Rhonda, does your husband, Ted Mann, still own all those movie theaters? Oh, yes. Why? Well, do you think he'd be interested in having a Bob Hope film festival? Now, Robert, why on earth would you want a film festival? Why? Because so many big people never had a film festival. Fernando Valenzuela, who said to Peter O'Malley, how much is that in pesos, never had a film festival? <laughs> Napoleon, who said, how else can I keep my hand warm? Josephine's out of town. <laughs> never had a film festival. And Red Buttons, who said, if Bob Hope doesn't stop doing my act, the producer of his next show will be Mr. Jordan. Never had a film festival. <laughs> but, Rhonda, it's time to check in on our biggie, alias Jesse James. Oh, that's one of my favorites, Bob. Aren't movies wonderful? I mean, how else could a person get a chance to act out his fantasy by actually capturing the, the James gang? To tell you the truth, Rhonda, it was a mixture of fantasy and revenge. The real Jesse James was once my agent. <laughs> I don't think anyone had so much help during a gunfight. We had Fess Parker, Hugh O'Brien, Ward Bond, Gary Cooper, Bing Crosby, and they were all shooting. Yeah, it was the first time Bing ever used a gun to flush out the bad guys. Usually he just sang. <laughs> You've got it. Of course, I had him surrounded. Here, notch that. Oh, oh, I'll get him. again. 
Yep. <laughs> man, do I handle this thing. Milford, I think there's a man behind that barrel. Huh? Give me that right. <laughs> Poor fool, he never had a chance. <laughs> Still face by dust. Somebody's been smuggling guns to the Indians. This is the shot I've been waiting for. <clears throat> this fella needs all the help he can get. 